hi everyone today I am going to show you a video on how to copy the code uh, data which is inside the code snippet or uh, code block if you will okay so sometimes the code block will be this small and you can easily copy it but however in some situations the code block will be um, very large and we want a select all button here but uh, it doesn't seem to be there so if you just do a control a it'll select the whole page even if you select only this and then do a control a it'll still select the whole page so the only way for us is you select like this and scroll down scroll down scroll down and um, even though this this snippet is also very small but uh, if it's a bigger one then it, it becomes quite an issue you know to select and then move up move down etc so uh, the method that i employ here is um, what i do is i select any any um, any bit of the code here I just do a double click or a triple click right click click on view selection source uh, I, right now I do not know what the shortcut for view selection source is uh, the shortcut for view page source is control U but uh, I'm not sure about the shortcut for view selection source so I still have to use the right click of the mouse click on view selection source and you get the uh, exact actually almost exact code uh, that is there in that code block um, if you will notice here that certain things are of a different color uh, those are the ones that have been uh, modified and which we need to take care of otherwise our code is just simply not going to run because if you just do a control a and then copy and then take it to notepad plus plus and paste it there Where did it go? copy paste save it and then you try and run it it won't run because if you look here uh, the things that have been colored are the things that are sort of extra over here uh, like like this uh, element here code as well as at the bottom if you see the element here as well slash code and then and gt that is a greater than and amp for amp emphasis and an lt for less than so that that makes you actually worried you know what what kind of uh, symbols uh, if you look here it's just a plain emphasis here so it makes it makes you worried what kind of symbols will uh, change the code like this so what we'll do is we'll just check that out we'll go to you ask a question and uh, yeah ignore the question here yeah. and what i'll do here is i will type in all of the symbols one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve equal to colon double quotes semicolon sem single quote greater than sorry less than greater than question mark comma full stop forward slash okay and then we'll just uh, mark this as a code block okay and the same thing we'll do here just select a bit of it right click and click view selection source and if you look at this uh, which are the ones that have been changed there's only the emphasis the less than and the greater than so we don't have to worry about the um, other symbols here okay so in order to make our code workable we need to process these uh, these values here and uh, we want to do it in the most shortest and simplest way possible and the way i do it is i use notepad plus plus okay and uh, so you just select all of this code here copy it I think we already pasted it there. Yeah, it's already pasted here. And what the, one of the good features of Notepad++ is that you can create a macro. That means in one click, it will run uh, a, a 
a handful or a bunch of functions so you click on macro start recording and uh, we'll do a control F uh, select replace okay yep we'll replace this with nothing so that will delete it off as well we'll replace this with nothing it will delete it off again and then the ampersand we want to revert it to what it originally was okay like uh, one second okay i made a mistake there let me start from scratch okay so we want to remove four Control F, replace all, emphasize, and don't forget the semicolon there. Replace all. Similarly, the less than, replace all, and the greater than, replace all. Also, we want to take out uh, code. Oops. code we want to remove that and we want to remove the slash code at the bottom replace all okay so all these things that we've done are being recorded so we'll just go to macro stop recording again click on macro save current recorded and we'll just assign a shortcut to it say control shift m okay and we'll call this code block filters and click on ok and then uh, yep that's pretty much it so i will show you now how to copy it from your code snippet from scratch so you just go to the code code i like this code because it's, it's a nice fancy one um yeah so we'll just select right click view selection source control a control c alt tab control v just to show you and then we'll just do a control shift m and that clears out everything and do a control s and we go to the program and voila it starts working and that my friends is how you copy the code from a code block into your notepad or anywhere else all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you really liked it then do click on like at the bottom thanks for watching goodbye